My name is Joe Zazzo. I grew up on Long Island, a pretty normal kid. I always wanted to act for Woody Allen or Robert Altman, but mm, something didn't quite go as planned. I've played devils, werewolves, vampires, zombies, and even a mad scientist or two. Oh, and I like to cook. Welcome back to Cafe Himbo. I'm horror himbo Joe Zazzo, and today we have a really interesting guest. She has been seen in so many films, television shows, even some theater. You probably know her from so many things. She's been victimized by Joan Crawford. She's been victimized by evil forces. And yet she's such a nice person. Why is she always being victimized? Her name is Rutania Alda, and I'm very, very happy to have her here today on the show. And if we can just... Rutania! Come on in. Woo! I... <laughs> Something wrong? Is there, are you hearing like little noises here? Or, like, hearing this, things? Yeah, I. Uh, hmm. Like uh, voices are talking to you? It's just like little sounds. <laughs> it's not like any thing uh, touching you. No, no, no. It's, just, it's just like, is there a haunting going on here? No, or? I mean, it looks like it would because okay. it's always scary posters, but no. But <laughs> okay. Anyway, welcome. How are you? <laughs> I mean, we know your movies, we know your face, but do we know Ritania? So. Tell us about Ritania. Oh, Where do you come from? Are you... Well, I was born in overseas. I'm an immigrant. I'm a foreigner, originally. Um, I was born in a country called Latvia, which is one of the three Baltic countries, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. It's the one in the middle. <laughs> and I came to this country when I was 12, and I didn't know how to speak English, except I knew Hershey's, <laughs> uh, Blackjack Gum, which I don't think any exists anymore, and G.I. Joe. <laughs> I, knew, I knew that. And you, so. and you spoke no English at all? I spoke no English, but I, I learned now. it here. I mean, just well, around the house? or In the movies. I used to go to the movies 12 hours a day. I used to go in at 11 o'clock in the morning with my little sandwich. I used to stay the whole day, see the same movie over and over again, and imitate the people that were, you know, kind of talking. I used to imitate. So I, for a while I sounded like, if I saw a lot of Catherine Hepburn movies, I would sound like her. People thought I was affected. But I used to so seeing a lot of her movies. And then eventually, and then that in the radio, because the radio was good about you would hear somebody and you'd repeat their words. And and oh, there was a policeman. I had trouble. The two things I had trouble with was the TH sound and the W sound. And I had a, a school teacher that used to make me stay after school. And she said literally speak spit at me. It was like a spitting contest for, for, for an hour. School more. Th th evil school more. Th 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 <laughs> and I'd go, th 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 and she'd go, th th I, I, loved, I love her now, of course. And then there was a policeman, they used to, I used to kind of walk, the, you know, when I was walking around, he would help me with my W's. Va, 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 wa, wa, wa. Va, 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 wa, wa, wa. <laughs> so I finally got it one day. It's like, I got it. Wa, wa, what, what. Th, th, think, think. And it finally paid yeah, off because then you learned how to perform. And then the movies too. <laughs> the movies too. You'd, you'd, you'd hear it. You'd imitate it. It was fun. It was like, it was, it was, but I had to concentrate on English. I was like, Latvian was like forgotten for a while. I didn't want to speak it because I want to immerse myself in the English language. So now it's interesting because I was back in Latvia a couple of years ago and it took me about mm, a week to click in mentally to that language. And then afterwards I, you got kind of click in. It was fun. And, then, and all that, now did all that movie watching, is that what inspired you to become an actress? Uh, I wanted to be an actress when I, because uh, I grew up in displaced person camps because we were like refugees from communism. And I, it was the only happiness I had was going to a movie. It was like, I thought, oh, I want to be this. I want to do this. So this is like, I knew it was kind of what I wanted to do since I was really little. I said, I want to do this. I want to be, I want to, I want to do different characters, have a, have a different life. And, enjoy my life. I don't know. It just seemed so magical. It was like 
something I wanted to do. Yeah, look at Payton, it happened. Yeah, <laughs> you know? I did. You've it been did. on a lot of adventures. I mean, I, in, in a way, I'm, I'm glad because I knew I, so many people don't know what they want to do, and they sort of, you know, floating. And I, I did know what I wanted to do. So when I was 19, I came to New York. I studied. This is what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh, oh. See, see I, there was, did you hear that? Did you hear? Uh, I, was, uh, all right, well, I'm going to say no, but yeah, I did hear it. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Anyway, continue. Okay. Now, um, you studied you in yeah. New York and such, and then. Well, man, I hear. Yeah. I heard it again. Did you hear it? Mm. There's something. There's like a ha haunting here. This is like. Uh, this is like you wouldn't know anything about hauntings, would you? Yes. <laughs> what? Somebody. Touched you. Somebody here now. <laughs> I think I. That's why I'm familiar with it because I I have experienced it. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, see, there's it's ooh, my it's it's happening now. It's. it's yeah, get your minds off it. We'll talk about something else. All right, here. let's Just talk about something talk else. About, uh, talk about. Your first movies. <laughs> My first movies were Brian De Palma's movies, Greetings and Hi Mom, with Robert De Niro. Uh, the, uh, he was unknown at the time, and they were fun. Uh, Greetings was a comedy, <laughs> that and, was funny. and and Hi Mom was like a black comedy. It was. Um, and Greetings um, was the one where you were tired and alone, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, I, I did like the strip. Oh, I'm tired. Yes, you're tired. tired and you want to go alone. to sleep. So don't you think you should take off your dress? You started doing some really groundbreaking, interesting things. Along the way. I know you did The Deer Hunter, which we all think is a great film. That it's was a, the Academy it's, it's Award It's an important winner. movie, I know, but, and that was fine. But we'd like to know a little more about the juicier the films. The fun ones. <laughs> <laughs> After all, I mean, it's the Cafe the Himbo show, ones. I mean. <laughs> the ones I had a fun <laughs> on. But, such as, for example, Mommy Dearest. Faye Dunaway as Joan Crawford in Mommy Dearest. Fans should know the price you pay. Picture is hit. <laughs> Don't fuck with me, fellas. Tina, bring me the axe. I'm bigger and I'm faster. I will always beat you. <laughs> was amazing it was like um, three months I was on day one through the last day and um, it was amazing because it was filmed in Paramount Studios in Los Angeles and it was like you really they really put all the effort into the sets and everything so it was very coming on the stage was like being transformed back into doing a movie in the 40s but it was also <laughs> It was interesting because I think in all of my close-ups, Faye was never there. She 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 would kind of disappear and go in the trailer. So I, I did all my close-ups with uh, the script girl, or sometimes Frank Perry, the director. But did she want you to do for her? Oh, I, I, I would have to stay for her the whole time, and then of course all my close-ups were done the, uh, 14 hours later. So it was like, and if Faye. Face it. Oh, I've got to see you. I've got to see you. I've got to see you. But it came time for my thing. It was too late. She was tired or whatever. She she disappeared. So it was interesting because see, a lot of times young actors, when you uh you have to prepare for that. You have to say, well, this star may not be there very likely for your close up. So you gotta not let it throw you. You just gotta still 
use your imagination and pretend the star is exactly. there. You also worked on When the Stranger Calls as... When the Stranger Calls was great. Fred Walton was the director. Oh, the children are asleep upstairs. First door on your left at the top of the landing. Now they're both just getting over really bad colds and I had a terrible time getting them to sleep. So please try not to wake them. Leave me alone! Jill, this is Sergeant Sacker. Listen to me. We've traced the call. It's coming from inside the house. Our squad car's going over there right now. Just get out of that house. Jill. My part is my kids get killed. <laughs> and that's the thing. It's to... <laughs> and then the stranger. Uh, it, but it was a nice. It was. It was nice. I, I had a good time working on it, and uh, it, I like the director on it too. It was effective, yeah. definitely. But your kids got killed again a few years later. What is that? I mean, you're like, are you the kiss too. of death or something? Yeah, I am. Which I have to say is my favorite of all. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it was fun. I had I worked with a, an Italian director called Damiano Damiani. I love his name, Damiano Damiani. And um, was it hard to communicate with him because he was Italian? Or? Well, he actually spoke English, but he had an Italian crew with him. They did not speak English. That's the first tier crew. And then we shot in Mexico City, all the interiors. So the second crew was uh, Mexican. So nobody spoke English except this one translator who would translate the Italian, da da, and then the Spanish, da da. So we, we, we sort of, it was, it was. You may do, but <laughs> you got do. the gist of what you need got, to do. Yeah, right, right, right. You get, you know, right everybody's be. <laughs> beating each other up or running away from demons or getting shot. Or yeah. <laughs> it was interesting to do it because at that time there weren't that kind of special effects that there are now. So you had to use the imagine. They were put in afterwards. So you had to imagine all these things happening to you. <laughs> okay, I could imagine because do you, don't you hear those sounds again? Or is that just me? Dreaming up your I am set from years ago. Something. I'm telling you, there's something. This, it's, there's some it's because the owner of, of this place here. likes horror so much. I think it's just I, it, his, his dreams are being by, realized, we're and that's what's going to start happening. And I told him this would happen sooner or later, but it doesn't listen. <laughs> okay, enough movie talk. Let's talk about food. That's why we are here, correct, guys? Food. And all this amazing, look at this colors, all these tried, amazing yeah. food. I healthy. Love it. All the choices you gave me were healthy, yeah. so. Well, you get to my age, you gotta eat healthy thi things. It's like, uh, otherwise you start seeing things. Yeah. Uh, things are kind of happening, Joe. It's, it's very, oh my gosh. I just I, ignore <gasps> it. Leave it, leave it. It's all right, we'll just. See, I, I, th uh, there's a haunting going on here. They must like this food. Yeah. We well, must want it. Before it all disappears, let's talk about what the recipes are, okay? Yes. That's, no. it, this is a great recipe. Summer is a time when you do not want to cook, at least in New York, it's so hot. And I'm sure other places. Um, and this is a real healthy tuna, uh, sunflower seed, vegetable recipe that's really easy to, to make. You can make it like it's a salad. I think you called it sunflower tuna Sunflower tuna salad. Tuna salad. Oh. And 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 it's just it, it it's just wonderful and it's healthy and it's filling. So and what that's goes the in one. it? What goes in it? Uh, tuna, sunflower seeds, a little um, dill. Let in Latvia, dill goes on everything. And I mean hot dogs, parsley, carrots, onions, celery, cucumbers, and you mix it all, kind of mix it all together, and uh, a little bit of yogurt and a touch in there, just touch to in there, just to. Uh, and garlic and a little salt, salt, pepper to your taste. Oh, what about this? this oh, oh my God! Yeah, this is great. This adds this relish adds um, a little zip to it, and of course celery and and cucumber and some yogurt. So we mix it all together, and, um, and we use salt and pepper. Salt and pepper the usual. Just and whip the usual it up in the stuff. Bowl. Just whip it up in the bowl because it gives it a nice little zing. So it's a fancy tuna salad. So yeah, wanted... a tuna salad with a little more flavor than, okay. than your usual tuna. Now there's another recipe I think you're supposed to share with us. Is that for Baltic cucumber salad, well, if I, I'm not it, mistaken? Yes. They're, in Latvia, cucumbers are also served, it's not the... only dill, it's cucumbers go everywhere. It's a big thing. Uh, so this is a wonderful recipe also, easy to make. You have the cucumber, garlic, only red, on, oh, red onion, don't use any other onion, but red onion. Then you have yogurt, the sour cream, the salt, and the honey. And then all gets uh, the honey. 
Alright, alright, just, just deal with it. We're almost done. Deal with it. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Okay, hello. And there's yet another recipe we're doing. One more. It's... This sounds mmm, but it tastes mmm. Uh, <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> this tastes really good. My grandmother used to make these. This is a, like a combination of strawberry and cucumber little sandwiches where you put on also some new Chatel cheese, which is another. <laughs> I just, you know, the I'm episodes used work, to it. it's I'm you, used to it. I know, it's not you, it's not you. But it's, it's just another just... fancy word for cream cheese. It's just a little lighter, right? It's yeah, like it's a, a little, little lighter. Yeah. But Neuf Chatel. Neuf Chatel. And they all come, and when you, you combine the Neuf Chatel yes. with the strawberries, strawberries and mix in the bowl. And, and a little a watercress and what? um mint, and there? some mint. Mint adds a little and kind of little zing to it. And make and, lemon zest out of this year. Make a little lemon. Grind your lemons. Oh, and, and you course. put it on some brulee, which is another word for <laughs> <That's> just, <laughs> just <some laughs> bread, nice bread, bread. <laughs> <It's a> nice <laughs> bread. Whatever so basically, they're like these manly little strawberry watercress yeah, cucumber sandwiches. Yeah, and they're very, so. they're very healthy, and they're very easy to make, and they they taste really good. So we have your sunflower tuna salad. Uh -huh. We have your Baltic cucumber, cucumber salad, salad, and your and the super manly strawberry mm -hmm. watercress. Delight. You know, one of those things make we're ready for a picnic basically. Yes, or a absolutely. barbecue or just or after people come over, it's an easy thing to make. Mm. You don't have to cook and people love it. Mm -hmm. It's all delicious. Uh back again. Okay, that came back. Right, that means we're supposed to use it, right? You know, it, you know, it, it's getting a little crazy. I, I, at least, I'm getting a little bit unnerved by this whole thing. So, you know, what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go cook. You're welcome to join me if you want, or you could stay here and actually, you could slice up this bread. I will cut the bread. I'll, I'll make all the recipes that you took. Uh, uh. uh. <laughs> Have fun. I'll be right back. Ah, uh, yes. A man who cooks isn't that wonderful? And he's. Uh, uh. <laughs> Katie Kavanaugh? I'm not Katie. <laughs> Girls not hour, I'm the killer. The knife is not possessed. I'm gonna actually cut this bread. And hope it's sharp. Let's cut the little end off. Oh how nice. It's fresh and tasty. There we go. Oh, Joe, that looks think, huh? beautiful. Did I do it right? God. You did a fabulous job. I love the tuna because it's not too tuny. It's like it, it has a lot of ingredients in it, so it does. It really tastes. Oh, like, I've never been one for tuna, yeah, but it's okay because you can change. You can. You can. <laughs> oh, isn't this lovely? I just love the way you design this. It's the passage to hell. Come on! Thank you. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Are you all right? Yeah, I think I'm all right. But oh, good. It's this place. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to keep hitting me. <laughs> the demon's gone now, I think. Okay, good. Well, you did a great job. Oh, thank you. Ooh, that makes it yes, something it's dripped. Yeah, it's something, yes. Something it's, dripped. It's, it's, I'm telling you, it's, things are happening here. You can go now. <laughs> I want to eat. Bye. No, 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 it's okay. <laughs> oh, but Lunch, before you go, dinner. tell everyone what yes. you have coming out soon. I hear it's a book. I have a book called Mommy, The Mommy Dearest Diary, which is all of my three months of recorded stuff that went on during the movie, which is kind of fun and is interesting. Is it juicier than the movie? And juicy. And I hope you all buy a copy. It should be out this year. Excellent. Everyone, thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Thank you again, folks, for tuning in. And until next time, keep cooking. For the complete recipes and directions, please visit the official Cafe Hembo website. Buy my DVDs. For more information, please visit the Cafe Himbo site.